yeah hi hi anjali thank you so hi, much sir. for uh, you know providing your time okay um so anjali has uh, nailed it right so like all of our successful students she also has got job into this field of data science given the kind of uh, environment that we are living in given that uh, there is a lot of recession around despite that you got a <clears throat> job in the field of data science anjali i'm extremely happy for that and the most important part here is that despite being from chemical engineering background yeah you got into this field of data science that requires a lot of grit and determination and you had both of yeah. these right and hence you are in the place that you are in okay uh, probably after 2 uh, to 3 years down the lane uh, you 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 might be at a very high position in comparison to your peers and uh, you know a lot of other people around so how was your journey like uh, anjali if you can help us understand your journey basically yeah uh, actually i have done btech in chemical engineering and i passed out on uh, 2013 after that uh, i placed in uh, vedanta it's aluminum background there i was doing data analysis job but uh, it's completely on excel only so i got some interest in background that doing a data analysis uh, but uh, i was not aware of this data science stream and terms so uh, for, for after that for four years i have done marketing technical marketing in steel industries after that uh, i got married on april month last year so i have to switch cities i earlier i was at noida now i shifted to hyderabad there is uh, language issues uh for marketing we need local language so uh, i thought maybe i will again enter the field as a data scientist then through one of my friends i heard about 360 digits so i joined on uh, june month this june only and at december i started my uh, preparations for interview after completing the project then i placed on uh, placed on feb first within 2 months of uh, hard work i got as a as a junior data scientist hello okay yeah angel i keep so, uh, myself on mute so that i avoid uh, background noise yeah yeah okay. wonderful wonderful anjali but uh, you know what uh, people always say that you should be from programming background you have, you should be from mathematics background yeah. or statistical background uh, do you agree with that anjali or what, what are your thoughts on that no uh, uh, it's not like that even i am from non it and non technical uh, sorry non coding background even after that uh, i am able to get the job then anybody can uh, get the job and uh, right now i am do i am doing uh, my job is uh, it is related to the deep learning projects only image processing wow you are working on a project pertaining to image processing okay yeah one ad additional uh, thing friends uh, to all the audience who are listening to this mm -hmm. uh, you have to focus on videos images audio files and textual data right you need to focus on analyzing this as well heavily anyways you learn heavily on a uh, tabular data or columnar data as well as textual data right a lot of you all would anyways analyze that okay so uh, anjali i have another question for you right? yeah and this question is a lot of our students keep asking this question how do i get into this field of data science you know after getting trained if yeah. you want to give probably one or two <laughs> most important suggestions to them uh, okay. post training how to get into this field what would that be anjali uh post training would be uh, 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 what i was doing na i was uh, after two months of class i i forgot some terms uh, related to data science so i that decided to watch the recordings which is available on, on ai spry so i watched the recordings two times daily 6 hours a day and apart for, from that i was uh, also watching videos of sql and uh, tableau and one other thing is that uh, 
uh, I used to, uh, because computer takes time now, so I used to write codes on notebook <laughs> just to practice. Good, good, good. Amazing. I mean, that that's very interesting. So and, off late, you know, initially, Anjali, yeah. I used to say that read mind map daily three times. Nowadays, I'm saying that also type 100 lines of Python code every day. Even if it and one thing same. also. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> the was breaking. And the assignments really helped me uh, by doing the assignments sincerely and uh, search to get the projects uh, uh, very matlab, easily to uh, learn. Matlab, to do the projects, live projects. Okay. So Anjali is saying that assignments and the live projects have helped her a lot in terms of, you know, paving the path for the data analysis, uh, data science position that she's in. But you are in the right position at the right time, Anjali. The market is booming. And just keep your yeah. focus on a neural network and deep learning algorithms. It will help a lot. That's my take. And always focus on the business okay. business aspects heavily, as opposed to on the technical okay. aspects, right? So that okay. would be my sincere take. Okay. Okay. You, um, so given this context, I'm extremely happy for Anjali. Friends, despite being from chemical engineering background, which is completely away from IT, which is completely away from programming or math or stats, Anjali has nailed it. She is into the covert field of data science now. After two years down the lane, I'm sure she'll be in an extremely superior position. And, uh, and in comparison to her peers, her friends, her colleagues, I'm pretty yeah. sure she'll be in a very successful position. Right? Thank you so much, Anjali, for your time. It, it means okay. a lot and I'm extremely happy for you. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye. I think Anjali you, has sir. played a lot Bye. of pony today. I can I can make it from my yeah. <laughs> Happy Holi to all the folks who are listening to this. Thank you, Anjali. Take care. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Happy Holi. Thank you. You too.